My name is Carrie Vaughan and on the 31st of December 2022, I went to the ATM at Sunset Press in Hawthorne to withdraw some money from the ATM. And to be honest with you, when I put in the card and I did an inquiry, I saw I had money, but I was using a temporary which, which is a convenient CIBC First Caribbean card. As they said that I can only use it at the First Caribbean ATM. So I put in the amount that I wanted to help to purchase some things for my son. And I said, wait, this card is not working. Probably have to go to the CIBC over in Sunset Press there. All right. I left the ATM, I took my card and I left and I went into the supermarket because I had some change with me. And whilst I stood by the fruit section, mm -hmm. I had my little boy remember with me and I saw this gentleman came up to me and gave me some money in my hand. And I was like, why, why are you giving me this money? And I was shocked. I said, is this a prank? He said, no, ma'am. No. The money came out of the machine when you went to the ATM. I said, oh my goodness, it came? He said, yes. I went to withdraw some money. And I saw the money came out before. I took it. And I said, I have to give this young lady with this child. I have to find this lady. And I said, sir, stop. What's the reason you came here to the ATM? He said, because I do not have any bus fare and I just want to get home. I said, no, no, no. And you bring back my money to me. To me? I started to cry. And it was like, I said, no, you don't have any bus fare. Let me get this straight. You don't have any bus fare. And you came to me to bring my money from the ATM and give me he was like um yes ma'am i said no 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 and i gave him 20 dollars that's the first thing i did all to the money then i said did you need anything from the supermarket he said no not really i said no you know what you don't even have any bus fare and i gave him another 20 dollar and i said well i hope you get home safe and i asked him where he lived he said i lived in Boscobel. remember that we were at massey in sunset press and I said, Shh, how old are you? He was like, I'm 20 years old. I said, are you going to tell me, Father God, that there's no good young person in here, a young fella? This is a young boy. This is a young boy, and this is an honest boy. He had no bus fare, no bus fare. And he took it upon himself to look through the supermarket to find me, to give me back every cent that would have came out of the ATM. That moved me to tears, honest to God. It moved me. So I know personally that in Barbados, we have honest young men. And he was persistent. Because he said, I'm going to let you yes. every Um, I had, that day I had work. But I remember I had to get a job of money from the 18. So I wouldn't have any bus here. So one of my work colleagues, he had dropped me to Walton. But I was saying, um, it was something I wanted to check inside of Massey to get for cooking because of late cooking and I tell myself you can't buy it because I ain't really had the amount of change to buy it because you know I have certain stuff to do so I just tell myself with a chat drop the bus through and leave so when I get there I went inside the seat and I saw the lady at at the ATM it, it was giving a bit of trouble because she had me waiting in a little while and I was trying to wonder if it's not hers but I never really got it hers so then from there she said um I have money, I ain't going to eat. She said something along the lines that, but well, I figured she was getting to the supermarket. And, well, I went to push in my car now at the ATM to drop my money. And, I, I hear beep, 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 and I went the wrong way. I didn't want the ATM to swallow my car now, and I got stick up in my seat all evening. So, when I got down, I saw her money came out from the ATM. So, I look around for her to see if she was there, I could have called her back, you know, to take it out. Cool. I didn't want the boy to think that I would have steal it. So, what I did was I took it up fast, I took out the receipt, folded it in my hand, and I went back in the supermarket looking through every other side. But 
I try to give up hope because it'll feel bad because you never know what somebody getting through in terms of where they need the money. So, uh, every time I saw my money, you'll feel bad if I have it. I had care no. Cause me personally, I'm getting my senior. I wasn't going to get the manager because I believe in going enough. You know what I'm saying? So, I you walk around, I walk around, I walk around. It was coming around now. Tell myself, all right, like, the only place left for chat now is by the fruits. So, when I passed, I saw her right there and I was like, okay, sweet. So, I mean, I give it to her and she was like, like, will you give me this? And I was like, but this this is your money. <laughs> so then she was like, you you serious? And I was like, yeah. She was like, is it prank? I was like, no. So then they gave her back and she was like, shot. That was my story. That's my thing is, in terms of the world, I'm telling everything, you know, I believe that it has to do with mindset and how people are raised. You know what I'm Not only how you're raised, but a person, and he, this, their mindset is what get yeah, there to really need to be. Because a man might need, got struggles. Two men might got struggles, but one might only think they're going to get a job on work, and next might, might think they're going to rob somebody. Yeah. It's all about mindset, regardless of who you were raised. Mm -hmm. So that's all I could say, because regardless, people still do what they got to do, mm -hmm. even if they're right or wrong. A lot of people know whether they're right or wrong or not, but still choose to do it.